The diversity of orchids in the wild is simply astonishing. Many different colours, different shapes, um, and many of them are regarded as very elegant and very beautiful. And for this reason, people often want to grow them at home. But what I'd like to talk to you about this morning is um, how to make a decision when you're buying your orchid to make sure that your choice at the market doesn't impact the orchids in the wild. Broadly speaking, there are two possibilities. Either the orchid may have come from a sustainable uh, production, for example, a nursery, um, or they may have been directly collected from the wild. If we look at this plant here, you can see that the plant um, is not potted, um, it's not mounted, and the roots um, are exposed. Um, there's evidence that they've been damaged in the process of pulling this off the tree that it was once growing on. In addition, for example here, another plant collected from the wild, you can see the, the leaves are damaged. Um, there's evidence that insects, for example, have been eating these leaves. And again, this is something that you'd never find on a plant that's come from a nursery. The example I have here is of a larger plant that is actually still growing on the branch that it was growing on in the forest. And the collectors have simply cut the tree in order to get the orchid for sale in the market. And in other cases, um, when you go to the market, you may find that the stool is offering a very big range of different species, um, of different sizes, different type, and different conditions. And again, this may be evidence that the plants have come from the wild. So in contrast to the plants that have been collected in the wild, you can see that an orchid that's been sustainably propagated will almost always be sold in a pot. So if you compare the two, you can immediately see a difference in the condition of the two plants. And you can see that inside there's medium within the pot, um, the flower is healthy, the leaves have no signs of insect damage, there's no moss, for example, on the leaves. Um, and these all indicate that the plant has been sustainably produced in a nursery. So here at Kaduri Farm, we, in addition to running projects based in the natural habitats themselves, we also do what we call ex situ conservation, which involves working with the plants here in our collections at Kaduri Farm. And what we can do is we can hand pollinate the flowers, um, doing the job that the insect would normally do in the wild. And then we can wait and the fruit capsule will develop. And from this fruit capsule, we can harvest the seeds uh, and from these seeds we can germinate many hundreds or even thousands of juvenile orchid plants which we can then raise in our nurseries and in time we can use these to plant back into the wild to help foster new healthy populations.